grade 2 Joshua and grade 2 Moses. How are you today? I hope that you are doing good. So, welcome to grammar class. For anything else, let us pray first. Put your hands together, bow your heads, and let us pray. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please go before me and clear the way. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now again, grade 2, welcome to our grammar class. Now, let's look and say. All you have to do is read the following sentences. I will flush them and you have to repeat after me. So the first one is, this is his book. Again, repeat after me. This is her book. This is his book. The second one, that is her toy car. Again, that is her toy car. Next one, these are their bags. Again, these are their bags. Next, those are Tom's cats. Again, those are Tom's cats. Next one, this is the dog's ball. Again, this is the dog's ball. Next, and the last one is, that is Amy and Sam's school. Again, that is Amy and Sam's school. So, that is our reading drill for today. Now, our topic is all about this, that, these, those, and possessives. Again, our topic for today is this, that, these, those, and possessives. So, there are two topics for today. Let us tackle the first one, which is the this, that, these, and those. Are you ready? So, the first one is this is. As you can see, there is a hand and a circle. Take a look on their distance. Are they near or far? They are near. So, and how many circles are there? There is only one. So, when the object is singular and it is near to the subject, you are going to use this is. Again, when the object is singular or only one and it is near on the subject, you are going to use this is. So, let's have an example. This is his ice cream. Again, this is his ice cream. As you can see on the picture, the ice cream is only one and it is near on the boy. So, we use the this is. Again, this is his ice cream. That is the first one. So, now let us have the second one, which is the that is. Uh, the circle is from the it, uh, again, the circle is far from the hand, and there is only one circle. When this happens, we are going to use that is. So again, when we have only one or singular object, and it is far from the subject, you are going to use that is. So let's have an example. That is the moon. That is the moon. As you can see, there is only one moon and it is far away from the girl. So we use the word that is. Again, that is the moon. So we have the this is, that is. Now we are going to tackle the next one, which is these are. Oh, look at that. So the next one is different. As you can see, there are two circles and it is, they are near from the hand. So, when we are talking about objects that are plural or two or more and they are near from the subject, we are going to use this are. Again, when the, when the objects are plural or two or more and it is near the subject, you are going to use these are. So, let us have an example for you to understand it. These are Tom's dogs. So as you can see, there are two dogs and 
They are near from Tom. So we are going to use these are. Again, these are Tom's dogs. And then for the last one, those are. As you can see, there are also two circles and they are far from the hand. So when the objects are in plural or two or more and they are far away from the subject, you are going to use those are. Again, class, when the objects are plural or two or more and they far away from the subject, you are going to use those are. So let's have an example. Those are birds. As you can see, the birds are plural. They are two or more. So we are going to use those are. And as you can see also, they are far away from the boy. So again, those are birds. Now that we have done, that we are done in this, uh, that, these and those, we are going now to possessives. So what is a possessive? Possessives are forms that we use to talk about possessions and relationships between things and people. They take different forms depending on how they are used. So, so when we say possessives, they show ownership. They show something belongs to someone or something. For you to understand it more, let us have some examples. So these are some examples of possessives, okay, at the second column. So the possessive of I is my, you, your, she, her, he, his, it, its, we, our, they, and their. So we will tackle about them one by one. So let's have the first one, which is I. And the possessive of I is my. So this is my ice cream. So the possessive here is my. Remember that instead of saying this is I ice cream, it will become this is my ice cream. Again, this is my ice cream. Next, the pronoun is you and we have the sentence this is your gift. So when the pronoun is you, the possessive will be your. So instead of saying this is you gift, it will become this is your gift. Again, this is your gift. Next one, we have the pronoun she. And the sentence is this is her book. This is her book. So instead of saying this is she book, we are going to use the possessive her. This is her book. Now let's have the next one. So the he pronoun will become his. Example is, this is his soccer ball. Again, this is his soccer ball. He will become his. And this is for boys. Next one we have it. So, its tail is hairy. As you can see on the picture, it is a singular and it is an animal. So, the possessive of it is its. Again, its tail is hairy. So, the next one, we have the pronoun we. As you can see, the first one, they are all singulars. But this one is different, is in, in, is, it is in plural because there are two or more people. So the sentence is, this is our books. Again, this is our books. So instead of saying this is we books, we are going to use the possessive our. So it will become this is our books. And then the last one, the pronoun they. As you can see, they are also plural. They are more than two. So, the sentence is, that is their school service. Again, that is their school service. So, when we are showing the possessive, the possessiveness of the, an object or the people, we are going to use their instead of saying they. 
So those are the possessives of some pronouns. Now, let's talk about the possessives of a, of a noun. So for example, here, we have the noun ami. So when we are going to use possessives, it is ami's or her. And if it is a cat, it will become cats or its. And if it is in plural form, Tom and Jerry, it will become Tom and Jerry's and their. For you to understand it more, let us talk about them one by one. So the first one is the pronoun, or we have an example here as Amy. So the first example is, this is Amy's red book. So when we are going or when we are turning it into possessive form, you are going to add apostrophe s to the noun. Again, you are going to you you are going to add apostrophe s on the noun. So Amy will become Amis. Or you can just simply use the pro, uh, the possessive of pronoun or uh, her. This is her red book. Again. You can just, uh, when you are turning a noun into a possessive form, you can just simply add apostrophe s and then, or you will just turn it into a pronoun possessive. So, this is Amy's red book or this is her red book. So, the, we are done on the, on the pronoun, uh, noun rather. So, let's have the animal. So, we have an example here which is cat. As you can see, again, the possessive form of cat is added or we can add apostrophe s. Again, we only add apostrophe s to the noun, which is the cat become cats. Or you will just simply or you will just do um, get the pronoun and do the possessive form of that pronoun. So the first here, the first sentence is, this is cat's tail. And then the second is, this is its tail. So any of the two can be used. So now that we are done with the singular nouns, let us have the plural nouns. As an example, we have a Tom and Jerry. As you can see, they are plural because they are two. So uh just like uh, from the beginning or just like from the singular, we will just add apostrophe s at the end of the noun. So Tom and Jerry will become Tom and Jerry's. Or you just simply use the possessive form of the pronoun there. So the first sentence is, this is Tom and Jerry's meal. And then the second is, this is their meal. So any of the two can be used also. So let's have a summary. So these are the possessive forms of the plural. I will become my, you will become your, she will become her, he will become his, it will become its, we will become our, they will become their. And the possessive form of the nouns are, for example, we have the name Amy. It will become Amis or her. And then for example, we have the cat. It will become cats and its. And another for the plural form, we have Tom and Jerry. And it will become Tom and Jerry's or their. So now, kindly answer the following in your grammar book. So in textbook, you have to answer the pages 13 to 15. And for your workbook in grammar, you have to answer pages 10 to 12. So that is all for today, grade 2. I hope that you have learned a lot from our grammar class. If you have some questions, grade 2 uh, Moses, you can simply message teacher Rhea. And if you have questions, grade 2 Joshua, simply message me. So that is all for today. Goodbye, grade 2.